Okay, well it's been, what, two weeks since we've been back from Thailand, and we wanted to do a tips and trick on things we wish we would have known. Um, and we watched quite a few blogs and a lot of few, quite a few, Tanya did a gob of research. There's quite a few things that, I don't know, left out or what, I don't know no, what you think. some of these things we did know beforehand, but um, you can get it all here rather than finding it elsewhere, plus what we learned. So this is a compilation of things that we knew beforehand, along with things that we learned along the way. So, something that we learned right away when we first checked in in Seattle. We're sitting out on the river. Sorry, at there minimums, are, like, dogs there's a marking their dogs head off. in some van over here. Sorry. <laughs> we learned when we first checked in for our flight, was it didn't matter how small you packed, it mattered your weight. And so, even though I had a carry on size bag, I didn't get a chance to carry it on because it was over seven kilograms. Now, obviously, this is going to be airline to airline. However, we found that to be a true across all of our different hopper flights yeah. and our international air travel while um, on the trip. So, so seven so, kilos, 714, about 18 yeah. pounds. So Thai Airways, EVA Airlines, and Air Asia were all the same. Seven kilo weight limit. Above that, you have to actually check it. Um, it was free but you have to check it. So you have to run the risk, obviously, of losing your baggage and then also having to wait for it when you get there. Um, when we land, the first thing you can do is go to an exchange and get some of your money. Actually, I didn't find the rates to be terrible at the airport. Um, you may find a little bit better rate in town. It depends on how much you're exchanging and see if it matters, you know. You might lose $10 by not exchanging all your money. Anyways, um, you wanna take 50s and 100s over because you get a better rate for exchanging 50s and 100s. But they do have exchanges right there at baggage claim in the airport after you go through customs so you can get some money because you're gonna need that money to first get a SIM card for your phone. It's made it so much easier. It's like unlimited data, texting, and however many calls, like 10 bucks for um, 10 days. I think it was $15 for 15 days. There you go, it's a buck a day. Um, well worth it. They have other their, plans too. Lives. But it's well worth it due to just the maps, the Google Maps app. And when you get a SIM card, I didn't know what I was worried about. But I was like, oh, I'm just going to roll the dice. I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, probably because it's obvious and anyone who travels know this, knows this. But anyone who doesn't <laughs> do this doesn't know. When I was worried that I might lose all of my passwords and not be able to use the apps that were already uploaded on my phone. Yeah, everything was still there. All of my passwords. It was just as if there was no difference at all. You just get a new number. Could not use the text messaging app that came with my Samsung, like that didn't work because I think it used the fo old phone number. But if I could message through a Facebook Messenger or most people over in Thailand all used WhatsApp. That was even the hotels and Airbnbs or contacts us on WhatsApp. Everyone, WhatsApp was their mode of communication. So be a good app to load on your phone. Yeah, so load that on your phone. And get Absolutely. comfortable. <clears throat> um, the Bangkok, if you happen to fly into Bangkok Airport, the rail link is super easy to take. It's not easy to find. It was, well, they were doing <laughs> some were construction. They were doing some construction, down, so it was down, a little confusing. Down. It's like three it was easy down. if you bothered to ask someone, they were happy to tell you where to go. And um, punch drunk and. Yeah, we were hungover and whatnot, but yeah, it's not that hard. When you get on rail link, you buy a ticket and at the airport, you actually get like a little card, a plastic card. Um, no token. Token at the airport. Token at the airport. Hold on to that token because to get off of the platform at your destination, you need to put the token in the turnstile to get out. There's no notes so about that, so don't lose of, the token. It's like it's a like, little plastic disc. It's like Google Pay, where you put the token or the card over a little reader and it lets you through a turnstile and then when yeah. you come back you slide it into the actual turnstile and yeah. it takes it back. You turn it in to, to get out of it. And when you're in town on just a regular like not the airport rail link but the B, it's called the BTS they used cards the same thing a little plastic like credit card size cards and they were the same way. Um, scan it to get on and then turn it into the feeder to get out. So, and you can buy those at glad uh, I didn't lose prepay it. or self pay kiosks where you can buy it from a vendor. From a window. A window. Super easy. Yeah, really Super nice. easy. If you can if you can read, you're not gonna have a problem. You'll be fine. If that's if don't you stress can, about it. Don't have a horrible trip. Yeah. <laughs> don't stress <laughs> out about getting around and seeing on the um, subways or on the rail links.
because they're all above the ground so you don't have to worry about yeah. traffic. Um, another thing to great to load on your phone is the Grab app. Um, yes. That's like the Uber or the um, Lyft. Lyft or whatever that they use over there is Grab. And it's really handy. In my, it worked with my Google Maps. If I was trying to get somewhere, I'd go into Google Maps, put in the address, and it would put in, and I'd set directions. And then you can choose that you want to go taxi, and it would give you the rates for taxi and Grab, Grab Excel, or whatever. It had all the options. Then you chose that, and then it would go in and give you the actual real, because it'll give you a range from the Google app Maps. Pricing, yeah. I mean, it, once you choose which mode of transportation you want, then it gives you an actual price. So Grab was nice because it was a set price from the get-go, which was when you're dealing with exchanging money and everything, you know if you have the right funds because they don't give you change. Yeah, they don't do change. You have to have exactly yeah. what you're tipping them. Same as in a taxi. And yeah. what in a note, if you take a taxi, you, and I'm guessing probably Grab as well. We didn't experience because we didn't use Grab on a toll road, but um, in taxis you do have to pay the tolls. So if you've got, you're computing how much money you're going to need, you, you better have some small bills because yeah. you have to pay the toll 70 bucks. We had to pay a 70 buck toll leaving the DMK airport in Bangkok. And so when you're trans- Plus you had to give up the perfect exchange change when we got to the hotel, which was like, we emptied out our pockets to give them yeah, the right it, amount it without having exact, to overpay any, like an amazing bond. amount. Yeah, it was, um, and when you're exchanging money, ask them to, because they'll give you big bills, mm -hmm. ask them to give you 100 bottle bills so that you can do they don't that wanna, little change. They don't want to do that, but just small change, small change. Because then it makes it really change. tough and you're giving money away because you don't have exact change. Yeah, get, you don't do all of it, all of it's a little, but at least get some of it in small change, because they don't like to give it that way. And if you're buying something larger, give them a bigger bill so they'll break yeah. it down so you have that small change for cabs and taxis and yes. pot, tuck -tucks oh, and, and you don't need to tip you don't tip I mean if you want to tip your taxi driver you might just give them a few like change like coins which are usually it's like, pennies pennies they you're, you're if, tipping pennies if somebody lifts something for you yeah, so yeah, any, if, yeah quarter or if they're yeah bellboy uh, 20 baht 20 baht per bag seem to be a kind of the going rate it's that like we watch people cents. tip yeah, so, but in restaurants and whatnot, unless they do something really stellar or you're in a really high-end place, you don't need to tip. So, just FYI, because it's super cheap and no tipping on top of that. It's kind of crazy. Um, we did find out that the food and ice are all safe over there. Um, obviously within reason, but the ice is safe everywhere. It's made somewhere, it's they all filter. buy it. Yeah, there's ice men just running around dropping bags of ice yeah. all, off all day long. Bottled water, obviously. Yeah, lots of bottled water. water. Um, 7 Elevens are everywhere. In a 7 Eleven, you can get water, obviously. There's, you can also get suntan lotion, hair dryers, That's shampoo. Great. Highly recommend that anyone take a hair dryer with you. Even the cheapest Airbnbs we went into had hair dryers. So don't, don't waste room in your bag or weight in your bag. Don't take a hair dryer. Um, they're everywhere, and if you needed to buy one in 7-Eleven because they didn't have them somewhere, super cheap. So. It's so humid anyway that... <laughs> Your hair's wet when you lock yeah, out anyways. Yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> there's natural pharmacies all over the place too, and that's where we found uh, natural mosquito repellents. So, the ties, they don't use like, unless you're going into the forest, they said that they would. But otherwise, like around just normal places, they use like the citronella natural oil which is nice because, you know, I don't like to put chemical points on my body, so it was great. Yeah. Um, scooter we have rental? A, we have a list down here. Yeah, we're sorry, we're reading it. our list because we can't remember all this ourselves. Yeah. You want to talk about the scooter rental, what Get you want to look for? If they have an Get option. insurance. Yeah. Well, it was interesting that where we, one place that we rented, it had three different options. Either you leave cash with mm -hmm. them, so about a hundred dollars cash, and that's what the the uh, as a deposit the, the, the deductible is if you get the insurance as well. It's like three dollars or something mm -hmm. worth it. We used it, so. Or you leave your passport with them. Don't ever leave your passport with a scooter or rental a company. Of it Don't with ever cash. Yeah. keep 
your passport on you at all yeah. times. Do not give it to anyone. You should know this if you're traveling. Don't give your passport over. They did take photocopies of it, which of course, because they want to be able to identify us. And you take photocopies but, yourself and then give them yeah, a photocopy would make sense. But, Most um, of them have a little copy of But yeah, Mr. Cords, if you happen to go to Anang, I highly recommend Mr. Cords Scooter Rental, K-O-R-D-S. They had the option of, you can give us your passport, you can keep your passport and pay um, basically 100 US, it's 3,000 baht as a deposit. Or you buy insurance for, I think it was 100 baht, it was $3 to buy the insurance. But the deductible on the insurance is that 3,000 baht, $100. So if something happens, you have to pay that. Which, which something, did. something did happen. <laughs> we did have so to pay it. So if you didn't see the tuck tuck altercation, go check the tuck tuck <laughs> altercation out. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, it's, it, if you have the insurance option, go for it. Um, oh. Let's just talk about the bathroom situation here. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> it took us a little while to figure out because everyone's seen a bidet, right? I mean, the real bidet. Two toilets, one's for the butt, one's for the. Yeah, well, over there they just have like a like a kitchen yeah, sink kitchen sprayer. sprayer on the wall next to the toilet. Didn't know what that was. All did some research. I did some research. <laughs> Actually, I googled that after about the third place. I was like, what is this? And this is getting in the nitty gritty of Thailand. Most bathrooms, unless you're in a high end establishment, most bathrooms are like a lot like if you've been to Mexico, no paper in the toilet. It all goes in the waste can. Yeah. And if we've even been into some where there weren't, wasn't any toilet paper, it was just the bidet. So FYI, that's kind of getting the gritty details, but I think you should probably know. I mean, it would have been nice to know just so we were prepared and not trying to figure out what was going I, on. I became very used to it. I kind of missed the old <laughs> sprayer. <laughs> it was funny because a shower like has absolutely no water pressure. But let me tell you, the oh, bidet yeah, has some water sucker. pressure. <laughs> you know, just ease it on to start with. <laughs> yeah, like, ooh. Had more pressure than the shower. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so I'm gonna wash my to hair do. down got there. Got a job to do. Um, so, just FYI. Oh, all the signs, um, or not all the signs, but if the sign is in something other than Thai, it's gonna be in English. Didn't see any other language, even in like instructions, when you go do excursions, whatever, people are either speaking in Thai or English, and always- it's Usually English. Usually English, like for um, excursions. Even when we went and did the elephant excursion, the sanctu elephant sanctuary, all of the instructions were given in just English. Or Australian. Yeah, Australian. <laughs> <laughs> Mate. Mate. Uh, no time, which was really interesting. So just if, I, if you're doing tourists somewhat touristy or in the cities, you're not going to have a problem getting around knowing English. I put um, a app on my phone to translate, never even had to use it or open it. Um, and so let's, oh, let's talk about excursions a little bit. There are like oh, travel yeah, yeah, shops oh, everywhere, everywhere. Yeah. everywhere. So if you don't book ahead of time, don't worry, you can book on the fly. Now, if you have specific ones you want to go to, which we will be having to put a few, then you might want to book ahead. The elephant excursion, we would definitely, if you're in The Marim's, Marim's Elephant Sanctuary in Chiang Mai. There's a lot of elephant sanctuaries, but yeah. Marim's is the one that we went to and highly recommend it. They were fantastic. Picked you up at your place, took you out there, fed you, yeah, you back, you did off the whole elephant thing. If you haven't seen the elephant sanctuary, look at our other videos and blogs. It's all there. Um, Thai secret, the Thai secret cooking class. Another one that we recommend out of Chiang Mai. Same thing. Really Pick amazing. you up, take you to the market and actually see. If you dive, I want to give a huge plug to. Anang. Um, it was in America. Sorry, I had to look that up. <laughs> well, we didn't end up diving with them, is why, but they were they really, really they, taken us. They could have. We paid half down. The weather ended up being bad. Visibility, visibility was bad in the water. They were honest with us, told us that, and then they gave us our money back the day before the dive. Which they didn't have to. Sea gypsy divers and all that. Yeah. Really class act. Where's he out of Philadelphia or something? Um, Minnesota. 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 That's right. And I mean, really. They didn't have to do that. They could have totally kept our yeah, that's half what we down expecting. payment. And, 
You know, it wasn't a so ton of money, but it was, you know, 120 bucks and they yeah. gave us back to it. And they, he did it like that night. Like I had a PayPal receipt like an hour later showing that he already refunded us. So it was really, yeah. really nice. Um, so if you have a specific excursion you want to do, book ahead. If you don't care, if you like any elephant sanctuary will do, you got plenty of places to book. Elephant sanctuaries, FYI. Something I didn't know, a um, little bit of humanitarian here, or uh, petitarian, did not know that elephants are actually horribly abused to be able to do the riding camps. So if you go ride an elephant, first of all, it's really bad for their back. You wouldn't think so because they're big creatures, but their backs are weak. Um, the safest place to ride on an elephant is actually on their head for them, safe One place the for time, them. So it's more expensive to do it that way. Um, but to train them is really, really pretty terrible. Um, the circus elephants, the logging elephants, they've all been pretty horribly abused. So the sanctuaries buy these elephants from those situations and then put them in these really nice places and basically baby them for the rest of their life. So if you're looking at spending some money on some elephants and you want to get up close and personal, way better than riding, like a million times better than riding, go to a sanctuary. Especially the one we went to in Chiang Mai. Well, that was for really a sanctuary awesome. that's there's an interaction. You're not yeah. watching them play soccer. Or you're not watching them do yeah. tricks. No, they're you're just feeding them and loving them and hugging on their trunks. And I mean, they're happy. We scrubbed them down with mud. Oh my gosh, and rinsed it was them amazing. Off. It was really cool. Okay, so that's that's being said. There's an elephant trail. All right. Um. Copper points. Do you want to talk about Marcus and Marjorie? Thank you. To play oh. Points. Um, I'm not the big buyer here, so Tanya really, I think, did the bartering. So essentially, if you come in, you're better than I, just don't buy. Um, if you have an idea of what, so you kind of work through Marcus to see what prices are, and there's going to be higher or lower for the exact same item, two stalls down, or two shops down. and. Um, so go in with an idea of what you're willing to pay. If they say it's 250 baht for something, come in at you know 150, and you're, you'll meet in the middle somewhere typically. Um, very few were really solid on pricing. Um, the one in Bangkok was it was pretty we, much priced. We read that if they have signs up with the pricing, that they're generally not willing to barter or not as well but if they don't have signs up and most of them don't have signs up then that's where you want to barter but have an idea of what they cost because yeah i mean that way you There's, know that you're not being still ridiculous really when a you great ask. deal for american I prices mean, you're or, literally bartering on a three dollar shirt and yeah. then you kind of feel bad because i mean how cheap are that's we that's where i'm kind of like it's, <laughs> it's a it's a six dollar t-shirt that i would pay 45 dollars in yeah. on the coast for yeah. 30 dollars. so i kind of okay with that but I think what was the other but if, bartering if you and, don't want anything if, if they're like trying to get you to come in and you actually found this more if the shop owners were Indian like East Indian shop owners they would like come out and try to get you to come in just smile and say Kap -kun -ka, or Kap -kun -krup, if you're a guy if you smile and say thank you thank you thank you Kap they, Kha is the feminine version Kap -kun Krup is the male version yeah They'll, they'll totally leave you alone. And they, 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 they fly back. Yeah. <laughs> so it, then you can escape. Yeah, and then just keep walking and they won't bug you. It's the easiest way to get out of that scenario. Yeah, because I always feel be, bad. It's like, well, tell me, look at this. Like, no, I don't want to. Without having to be rude or whatnot. That's just yeah. a really classy way don't of going about American. it, let's just say. Um, oh, once you're there, if you're wanting to do some hopper flights, there's lots of hopper flights, like to the other cities, like Chiang Mai from Bangkok or down to Krabi. They're cheap. Um, they are smaller in leg room, so if you're a tall person, they're just be hour, prepared, it's going to be tighter. Long, though, so it's not yeah. 14 hours of cramped. Yeah, but you know, just be aware that you are going to have you know tighter seating arrangements. And they're all big, it's like not small planes, they're like yeah, 737s, there's... and it's interesting, I didn't, and they're usually packed. So there's a lot of people taking we flights every day. Yeah. yeah. Um, as far as laundry goes, as far as packing, they do have laundry available almost everywhere generally hotel. range between 40 to 50 baht which is um a buck 50 per kilo of weight so, so two and a half pounds is a dollar 50. so we yeah. we were halfway through our trip and we washed everything i think it ended up being five six dollars yeah something like it was that 50 baht times three you wash everything yeah yeah and so, so you essentially you don't have to pack for the whole time 
back for a half or a third and do laundry while you're going through. Though usually if you drop it off, it's either there the next day. So if you're coming into a town, that's a great time to drop off laundry because it'll be back the next day. And it's a lot of times at the hotels or the hostels or stuff, you'll see it around on the streets. So save your back some time. Right. Save your weight. Something you should pack is a power converter. Mm -hmm. um, I found one on Amazon. It was great. It was a uh, power converter and also had USB plug-ins. Maybe we can leave a link for that at the bottom yeah. of this somehow. Tanya was right. Uh, Charging backup camera batteries. Camera batteries. Oh. But most of the places we went to, you couldn't leave the power on in your room when you left the room because your key turns on the power. Yeah. So if you're planning on, like, what we'll plug get everything in and go out to dinner, plug you get it, one key. Charge everything at night. That's the way they save electricity. And when you leave the room, everything all the power goes, goes off. off. Everything goes off. So, so AC, lights, So you're batteries. always coming back in and it's a warm yeah. room. So they usually cool off pretty fast though, yeah, but it, you'll want to take your, um, you'll want to plan on charging at night or when you're there taking a nap. Take a nap, take a nap in the day, that's what we did. If you're going to burn battery. It's really hot in the day, take a nap in the afternoon and then charge during that time. Um, massages are really cheap. We're talking like six dollars, three to six dollars for an entire hour. You can get an hour foot massage for three dollars. It's yeah. ridiculous. It's and amazing. They have uh, where you put your feet in uh, aquarium of fishes. <laughs> yes. Of little fishies, and they'll Fish come. Spa. They'll come nibble on your. We did do that. That was funny. Skin. That was weird. That was the most expensive massage we had. That was it. I think it was three hundred and fifty. No, it was a hundred. No, it was a hundred baht for yeah. fifteen minutes. So it was for three dollars for fifteen minutes. Um, if you see snakes, stay away. Uh, yeah, don't, I don't done, go kiss them and hug them. I had done a little bit of research, and there is a lot of really pretty garden snakes. But I actually came across one on the property of our hotel, and it was not a garden snake. It, was it actually, hooded up like this and reared. It was like, so I put that's on, a cobra esque. Yeah type of snakes. They don't kiss it, honey. Put it on Facebook and a few people on the know said, told me what it was Run. back. It was like a red-backed something. I don't remember what it was, but basically poisonous and venomous. And poisonous so because was, yes. it that eats poisonous one. poisonous frogs, I guess. So I guess like it has yeah. poisonous spit. I In don't their know. Mouth. And poison. then the venom in the face. So yeah, stay clear. Yeah. Really pretty. Really pretty. Yeah. It was like um, this long. <laughs> Um, when you're in Bangkok and you're wanting to go to temples, you'll see this on all sorts of travel blogs or whatever. You'll want to have your shoulders covered and you need to have your clothes all the way down to your past your knees covered. So no shorts, no tank tops. Um, Take off shoes. When we were in Bangkok and we were going towards the temples, this is an FYI. Now it had been, it was a holiday because it was near coronation day for the king. And there's this tour guy saying, oh, he saw us obviously heading towards the Grand Palace. We had the right clothes on. We had the clothes on for it. Who else wears clothes like that? Hot clothes. Well, other than They locals. do, other than ties. <laughs> they knew we were going to go temple watching. So he was trying to sell a tour. And he's like, oh, the Grand Palace is closed today. It's closed today because the king's in town. And I'm like, what? I wasn't going to believe him. I kept on watching and I'm like, well, he may have a point. So I was trying to Google it. I couldn't find anything. Anyways. It actually kind of so, proved that he was right, but it ended up being wrong. Yeah, he was wrong, but um, it was open. So if you have, if you know, do your own research. Don't believe the tour guides on the street because they want you to do whatever they want you to do. Um, then we were walking by another guy and he told me that I was wearing the wrong pants. I was wearing what, pants. What was he going to do if they were... I think that he probably wanted to take you... Yeah, I think he'd take you around oh, to the corner to, the, to someone oh, who could yeah, get you yeah. the proper clothing to go into the Grand Palace. Oh, God, I didn't catch that. Yeah. Oh, so, I mean, do your own research. Don't believe them. Sometimes they do want to take you for a ride or say... Um, Literally. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just FYI. So, Tuk Tuk's... Oh, Tuk Tuk's are fun. Yeah. Uh, get a price before you get in. Uh, give them, I showed. I usually show a Google Maps, so you have your SIM card, so you can do Google Maps on your phone. Tell them where you're going, show them, and they'll give you a price before you get in that you've but already. The beauty out. of Grab is you t pinpoint where you want to go, then you submit the, the inquiry. Somebody responds, you know right where they are. They're three minutes it's just away. Just like Uber. Yeah, it's and like Uber. then they know where you're going. We had one cab driver that said, oh yeah, I know where that is. From the airport, he lied. He had no idea where he, he was no going. He had no clue. Tanya was GPSing him and he wouldn't and listen. And he wouldn't listen. And I even put it in Thai language and yeah. he wasn't listening. He kept going the wrong way. He's a very cost happy, us. laughy guy. He was laughing. Ha, 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 ha. 
Yeah, I'm like, yeah. 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 I think go real well. Let's see. Anything else? I think that might be it. I don't see anything else on here that we need to go. Oh, obviously when you travel, you want to let your credit card know where you're going and where you're going to be so they don't cut you off. Travel visas in Thailand, you don't need one if you have a return ticket within, I think it's like two months time. So if you're going to be returning within two months time and you have the ticket when you land, you don't need a visa. Um, keep your, double keep your check travel on itinerary and your um, return stub. Yeah, they give you a return stub. Keep that with your that passport. That you fill out and put it in your passport so they know you have a ticket going back. Um, when you're at the airports, they always have like food and coffee shops inside and outside security so feel free to go ahead and go through the security line there'll be things to do train, train just went just by just a second okay train went by i think that's it yeah so if you have any questions put it in the comments and uh yeah put it in the comments we'll try to answer them we may not time. have the answer but uh yeah i think tanya did a job of research and it really really helps and i appreciate that um, and uh we weren't clueless. <laughs> you're, doing, right. and you're, doing, clueless. you're doing research too, so you're going to have a great time. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, Ciao. Somebody cop. No. Somebody cop.